Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about the add post constructor notation with an example. So, add post constructor notation is actually a part of the Spring framework. It is not specific to Spring Boot. So, let's understand this annotation with an example. Why we need this and what is the purpose of this annotation? So, add post constructor notation can be applied to a method. The given bin is executed after all the injections have been done which means add post construct annotation is executed after the injections are committed to the given bean. This is the reason why it exists. First of all, we can apply this post construct annotation only on the method. And so let's understand this with a uh, simple scenario. Let's assume that we are creating an application and we have this customer controller and we have a customer service and we want to get the customer before we making a first HTTP request. So how do we do that? So if you're thinking that we can do this inside the constructor, then it's wrong because as soon as the customer controller object is created, the constructor will be called at that time. This will be a null, which means the injection will not be performed at that time. So this will throw a null pointer exception. So this is the reason why we will use add post construct annotation. This is the best place to do that operation. So add post construct annotation will be called after all the injections have been performed in the bean. So which means first the customer controller object will be created. Then after the constructor will be called after the constructor, the injection will be performed after the injection, which means all the dependencies have been injected to this bean. Then the add post construct method will be called. So inside this method, we can easily get the customer by making a service call. So the best way to understand this by looking at the example. So let's jump into our STS and let's understand the example or the add post constructor notation. I have already created a Spring Boot application post construct. And if I open the source main Java, we have a controller entity and service package. So inside the entity, let's create a new class. Inside the customer, I will create a two fields, private string name, private string location. So let's quickly generate the setters and getters. Let me create the first constructor and let's quickly create the setters and getters and I will also generate the two string. Alright, so now we have created this entity class. Let's save this. So now inside this service package, I'm going to create a customer service, customer service. And let's annotate this with the at service annotation. Inside this, I will quickly create the constructor public customer service. And I will just print a message. Constructor customer service and I will create a public method public this will return customer customer object so get customer so I will return a customer new customer Bushan and India let me import the customer so let's save this. So now we have this customer entity and we have a customer service and inside the controller, I will quickly create a new controller, customer controller. I will annotate this with the at rest controller and I will also create a constructor, customer controller inside this. I will print a message just for our understanding.
constructor customer controller and I will write a method public void get customer and I'm going to annotate this with the at post construct and inside this I will print the message get customer let me import the add post construct annotation as well so now let's auto wire this service which is customer service C service let me auto wire this why it is not importing yes it's imported customer service okay so we have imported the auto wired and customer service so let's save this so now first let's try to get this inside the customer let's inside the constructor so let's try to call the service method inside the constructor so c service dot get customer Okay, let's save this and let's go to the main class and let's start the application run as Spring Boot application. Keep an eye on the consoles. Okay, you can see now we get the null pointer exception. This is because inside the constructor, inside the constructor we are calling the get customer method because at the time this initialization is not performed which means the dependencies have not been injected at that time so at, before injecting that we are trying to call the service method this is why we are getting the null pointer exception let's actually prove that i'm going to take this statement and i'll put it inside the post construct method so now let's save this and the application will restart okay i have stopped the application i'm sorry so let's restart the application look at this now we didn't get any errors but look at the console statements first the constructor has been called which is the customer object con custom customer controller has been created after that the customer service have been created after that we are calling the service method so earlier what we were done is we have taken this statement and we have put it inside the cons constructor so at the time as soon as the customer controller have been created this object will like the customer will the constructor will be called as soon as the customer controller object is created the, cons the constructor will be called so at the time the injection have, have been not performed so that is why we get the null pointer error but now we have moved that into the at post constructor annotation and now the customer controller object will be created then the constructor will be called after the constructor the service will be created and the service constructor will be uh, constructor will be called after that the add post constructor notation will be called so if you have any scenarios if you are wanted to do something before uh, doing the uh, first http request if you want to do something then you can do it inside the add post constructor notation so if you're thinking we can move this code inside the constructor then that's completely wrong it will throw a null pointer exception so make sure to use add post constructor annotation to do such operations i hope you understand this video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video